Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada chat. Oh, hi. Hello. Have the, <laughs> have the tables turned? Uh, they have. <laughs> they have the turns tabled. They also have. It's episode 24, we're uh, ready to chat about can it. Can you believe it? There's probably only going to be, what, 29 episodes? So we have... Five more after this. Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All right, so last time Avery was evicted, but baby, it was a double. It was. So Tola went in the second half of that eviction. Oh my goodness, we're down to the final five. And no new HOH as of the last episode. broadcast episode. Yeah, which isn't a surprise because we rarely get an HOH on a regular eviction <laughs> night. So there was no way we were getting one on, yeah. on a double. What a crazy double eviction. This was probably the first time where we were actually okay. Satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> you will never be satisfied. It doesn't happen very often. No. <coughs> All right. So bye-bye, baby talks, Avery. Yeah, they spent a long time recapping the double eviction, which would be fine if they were showing us, like, a lot of new interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, behind the scenes or during the commercial break. But or... it was mostly things that we already saw the first time around. With maybe, like, a diary room session added here or there. Yeah. So, Bailey was pissed about the whole sympathy spicy vote. sympathy vote for <laughs> Avery. She was all, you know, oh, I I wish you hadn't done that. I mean, you, you said I vote to evict Bailey. Yeah, she was not comfortable ah. with that. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we saw more of that conversation on the Digital Daily, and Bailey was like, I can understand if it was like 6-1 or 5-1, but 3-1 is cutting it a little bit too close. Yeah. And Spicy was like, I had no idea you were going to be so upset. Oh, like, come on. <laughs> that was our ally. I wanted to give her a vote. I would have done the same sis. for you if you were going. Sis, I'm yeah, sorry, sis. sis. Mm -hmm. I cannot take the growly... Uh, vocal fry of uh, spicy uh, yeah it's worse than lexus i'd rather hear yeah yeah other than like oh what am i gonna do i don't know who to put up. i think uh you're sounding a little more christopher walken than spicy <laughs> <laughs> all right well guess who threw the hoh comp uh the person who won the hoh comp <laughs> spicy literally guessed one two three four she was not trying to win that and she pulled it out so yeah we saw as we saw spicy one hoh and she was just like oh you think she now, pooped a little bit probably because now she's got show cards right yeah so she had previously told lexus that she was good yeah plus she made up this whole big thing about like todd and you know and now she's like, um, I'm going to, how do you feel about going up on the block, Lexus? <laughs> yeah, Lexus is like, wait, 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 why is Todd not the target? You've been talking nonstop crap about Todd the last few days. Yeah. Why is he not even going up? <laughs> so Lexus was just like, what the hell is happening here? Mm -hmm. And it just is showing Lexus once again that she cannot trust Spicy because as much yeah. as Spicy says she's with her, her she actions have not. proven. She's yeah, not. She's not. So... Todd won the veto and didn't use it. Uh-oh. Hot dog. Another move here that he's pulling off for Spicy, right? Yes, because now Tola is voted out. And guess who's so sad? Anthony. And Lexus. They were both crying. They kept Wah. showing the back and forth between uh, Spicy, Todd, and Bailey celebrating in one room. Mm -hmm. And then Lexus, Anthony, and Tola crying in the other. And it was like... <laughs> well... <laughs> well... Anthony said this was really bad, and he is not going to forgive Spicy for this. I mean, she's taken out a lot of people that mm -hmm. Anthony wanted to keep going with at this point, so he's just like, mm -mm, it's done, I'm done with her, she's gotta go. But he didn't tell her that. It's well, no. A, <laughs> it's a secret. Yeah. All right, and Bailey is still freaking pissed about the Avery vote. She's still bringing it up. She still gets jealous. <laughs> I've heard that on the radio like twice in the last I week. I don't know why it's getting so much airplay lately. I don't know, but I've been hearing it too. That's so funny. All right, so Spicy goes into Dougie and is like, 
Mm, am I your number one? Right. Oh, this is Dougie. still before the next HOH competition. And she's wondering, like, am I actually your number one? And he's all like, yeah. He's done with her. He's ready yeah. to throw her in the trash. So then uh, they're hanging out in one of the bedrooms and Lexus comes in. and Ooh, She's pissed. She's yeah. She's not happy. She starts moving her stuff from one room to the other because she doesn't want to be sleeping in the same room as Spicy. No. And... Spicy was like, wait, are you, like, moving your stuff? And Lexus said nothing. Are you, like, mad at me? (laughs) Yeah, Lexus said nothing. And Spicy was like, well, you're lucky to still be in this house. And then left. Awkward. All right. Very Um, awkward. Yeah, it's time for the HOH comp, though, and it's a lot of fun. It's called Nepo Babies. (laughs) Oh, very topical. (laughs) Nepo Baby uh, truce. (laughs) No, it's (laughs) foot in the door and so much more. (laughs) That Please Don't Destroy sketch with Dakota was um, Johnson. That was probably Hilarious. the best of the season. It was a very, very strong yeah. one. <laughs> All right. So you have to identify who said the what? speech. <laughs> they played a, a short little clip from right. a speech from the season. Right. But they distorted the voice so it sounded like it was a baby talking. Did they distort the voice or... They babyfied it. Did they get somebody else to say it and then distort it? Maybe. Because, like... They got Avery to say it all. <laughs> you know she loves her baby talks. You can only do, well, maybe a little Kayla, too. Yeah. Honestly, every single clip they played, I was like, Avery. <laughs> because I'm just so used to all the baby talk. Oh, my God. I was surprised terrible. that they had multiple, yeah. like, Janines. They did. I and... think that's a good idea, though, because, like, you don't want it to just be like, okay, it's this, you know. Yeah. It's a different person every exactly. time. Exactly. So, yeah, I thought it was interesting, the mix so that we got So, it was a non-elimination. It was the most after five baby talks. Right. So, yeah, I was surprised only five and not, like, seven. Yeah. Well, Anthony is not throwing it because yeah. he can't trust Spicy anymore. So this is crunch time. This is it. This is the line in the sand that he's mm-hmm. been waiting for. We've all been waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... It actually came down to a tiebreaker. It went back and forth. I think Anthony missed like one or two. And there Bailey were a few that Bailey got two. and no one else got. Todd and... was a deer in the headlights for the most part. <laughs> yeah. These memory comps are not his forte. No. Probably because he never listens to anybody else. He just blocks them out. He just farts and sleeps. No. But we and love studies. it. studies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's funny because... Bailey was in the lead, and then the final question, she got wrong, and Anthony got right, and of course it was about Matt, his boy, and Lexus got that one wrong. Yeah, Lexus got that wrong. How's she going to explain that? (laughs) But that led to the tie between Anthony and Bailey. Right, so I... I can't remember what it was for, but... It was, um, how many minutes did Tola last in the, what was it, POV comp? The one where it was him and Todd at the end. They had to balance the ball. Oh. They were all, like, moving back and forth to keep it balanced. Yeah, that was a veto comp. I believe it was 198 minutes, and Anthony guessed 196. That's wild. And Bailey guessed, I think, 155. 150-something. So she was off by a lot. Anthony, only two minutes off of the correct answer. So he won HOH. Oh my goodness. Oh, Team Poppy! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, ooh, this ooh, was ooh. a lot because he was all like, oh yeah, like, I'm, it's time to be cocky. Like, I'm tired of being humble. I don't have to what be humble you anymore. What before? Uh, yeah, well, that wasn't cocky before? When was humble? No, I don't know. <laughs> I think where's, we need to pull out the dictionary. Yeah, I think we have different ideas of what's humble. <laughs> All right, what did you think of his HOH room? Pretty standard, right? Yeah, I like that alligator or crocodile plushie. I thought that was pretty cute. He got some nice family pictures. I think he had a picture of his girlfriend, yeah. some friends. So, he that was cool. He got a new suit. Yeah. New suit goofing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get right to this. Anthony's target, oh my God, is spicy. <gasps> He's going to have to backdoor her, though, because she's not going to go She's going to lose her mind if she's up on the block. And it's going to get really messy if she is one of the initial nominees and then she wins the He veto. does not want to hear yelling for the entire week. He'll hear it for the second half of the week, but not for the whole week. Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that we have not been Anthony fans this season, but... We're for this. I respect this move. I do, too. <laughs> I respect this move a lot. Yeah. 
So Anthony and Bailey, he's already starting to plant the seeds. Right, because he needs two nominees here that are not spicy. Right. And he only has three choices, Lexus, Bailey, and Todd. Right. So he's trying to, like, talk through this plan to potentially yeah. put Bailey and Todd up on the block, and Bailey's like, whoa, 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 whoa. no, you are not putting me up there. If you put me up, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I mean, she was going... She has the best... She should have won the award for the best reactions, but they didn't have, like, I know. that category in the... The Can Awards. BB Can Awards. BB Can... BB Can Awards. <laughs> um, yeah, she... Honestly, I think she was doing, like, a lot in this convo with Anthony, being like, you're not putting me up. It's cr- This was, like, back to, like, week three of Anthony... Them and fighting, and, yeah. Yeah, it was great. I loved it. I mean, it was very entertaining, but I was like, whoa... And honestly, apparently it was working. It was yeah. working on him. I guess he needs like a rough talking to. <laughs> to I get guess. Through him. I, I mean, there's just like this weird thing you know, between him and Bailey. You know what it is though? He needs her to make his plan happen. So he knows if she's a loose cannon, mm-hmm. Spicy's gonna know something's up. So he's got to keep her calm and like that. But also, I think he wants to keep the door open for her to potentially take him to the final two. Yeah, which I think for it would sure. be foolish for her to do. But she just yeah. might do it. Who knows? Um. <laughs> so yeah, um, Anthony is like spilling some major tea during this conversation. He was like, "Spicy would have cut you the last few weeks." Um this whole time, like she was always ready hell, to she throw voted Bailey you out. under the bus, yeah. She voted so, you out last week. All the stuff he was saying was true. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he has for been a change. filing this information away mm-hmm. for weeks and now it's finally coming out and seeing the light of day. And Bailey's like, mm, I don't know if I believe you. Like, I don't I don't know that I can trust what you're saying. But, like, this time it's actually true. Yeah. She would cut you in a second. She was planning on getting rid of you. Yeah. If I the mean, votes were there to honestly, keep Avery. she wasn't in the chocks. Yeah. So, Anthony takes Spicy to Wendy's because... He's got to find out some info. Oh, my God. This was so devious, but also, like, uh, masterful. The way this, he was like, I'm going to take Spicy to Wendy's so that I can get her to spill some info here, and then I'm going to bring it to everybody else and tell them what she said about them. I mean, in light of this week, mm-hmm. do you think Anthony would be a deserving winner? Uh, yes, but also I feel like he was just given such an unfair advantage yeah. this season. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be, like, a satisfying win, but because of the way that the season played out, like, people did have opportunities to take him out, and they did not, so. I wouldn't hate if he won. I would respect it. Yeah. Like, I think he would be a deserving winner, but I think that there are other deserving winners, too. Oh, I'm not rooting for him to win, but I would be okay with it. I would be like, yeah, that makes sense. (laughs) I just want my lovable slob, uh, Todd, to win. I'm sorry. (laughs) I love a farter. What can I say? I would also be into Bailey winning because she's been so freaking entertaining and honestly yeah. very influential this season. She has made things happen. I would love to see Bailey Todd final two and let him duke it out. Okay. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I think Bailey would win over Todd, which I mean, is okay. I think she'd be deserving. It's okay. But anyway, um, Anthony, like you said, picks Spicy to go to Wendy's and his server is his mommy. Oh, that was that really was very, sweet. It was very sweet. It was very sweet. Um, and then it's time to get down to the game talk. Well, with spicy. once Spicy starts stuff in her face, she's just like, <laughs> "I want Todd out." Yeah, she could not stop talking about how Todd needs to go. So Anthony was like, "Okay, saving that for my convo with Todd." Sounds great. So Anthony talks to Todd, and he says, "Spicy bad. She's got to go." <laughs> And Todd was like, oh, shit, she's saying all this stuff about me? Mm-mm. Todd's not for that. Todd is much more open to receiving this information than Bailey is. Yeah. Because I think Bailey was just closer to... I, Of course, yeah. She's yeah. been close to Spicy this whole time. Todd was a late <clears throat> ally yeah. of Spicy's. So he's like, oh, okay, I do believe that she actually said all these yeah. things. I think also Todd is just more, uh, less, is less clouded by the pretty colors and yeah. pictures, you know, he just, he'll take stuff for what it's worth. He cuts worth. through the bullshit. Yeah. So Bailey and Todd have a chat, and they said, we're going up. 
Yeah. They're worried. What if Spicy wins the veto and Yikes. keeps the nominations the same? One of them's going to be going. Yeah. But they talk it out, and they figure out... Um, They're also wondering, like, is this the time to dump Spicy? Todd if, says yes. If not now, <laughs> when? Helen? Yeah. All right. So Anthony and Lexus have a chat. This oh my God. is nuts. This is nuts. <laughs> so he was planning to put um, Bailey and Todd up on the block. But Bailey is going to lose her mind, and he doesn't want her to lose her mind. So he's going to get Lexus to agree to go up on the block. Instead of Bailey. So Lexus and Todd up on the block. Oh, my God. And he freaking does it. Yeah, she's just like, okay, like, it's for the greater plan. Right, so. I trust you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, it was a very smooth conversation of you're going up, and she's like, okay. But, I mean, are we that surprised? Because Anthony could say anything to her, and she'd be like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> like, she... Yeah. She's pretty much down to do whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the game. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. So, yeah, I'm not super, super surprised, but I am surprised that Anthony has made the decision to keep Bailey off the block and put up That put up is Lexus insane. Instead. Like, Bailey's power. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget to vote for the BB Can Awards. We put in our votes. We just voted, mm -hmm. and they have some uh, interesting things. Don't forget to check out the Skinness one. Skinness! <laughs> They didn't show that on the show. Justice for Skinness. So this was like an extended cut of yeah. Skinness, which was really good. <laughs> All right. So Dougie summons Bailey to the HOH room, and he tells her, look, I love you. You are not going on the block. And she is just like, <gasps> I am shook. <laughs> so was she. I did not see this So was she being a thing. Imagine if Dougie and Bailey went to the final two. Oh, my God. That would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then after that, Bailey, Todd, and Lexus have a little mini meeting in one of the hangouts. Bailey is still like, oh, my God, am I actually doing this? Am I potentially turning out spicy this week? And, like, being part of a plan to take her out is so weird for her. She has considered Spicy her number one mm -hmm. this whole time. But Todd convinces her, look, she's been talking crap about us this whole time. And Lexus was like, hey, uh, Spicy was saying she wanted to go to the final three with me and Anthony, <gasps> so. And Bailey was like. <gasps> yeah. <Best laughs> she reactions. was shaken by that. Yeah. So she was like, all right, I guess we're going to, like, do this then. Everybody's so. on board. Nep Nepo babies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they're they like, I guess we have a new final four of Lexus, Anthony, Bailey, and Todd. But I mean, we got to see how this veto plays out first, right? Yeah. It's not guaranteed. Oh my God, please. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow, hopefully. But like, yeah, oh my God, please. This so is it's wild. time for noms. Okay. Todd, you're up first. You're more than an underdog, baby. <laughs> He, it was a pretty funny speech about, like, what is it, Goose Bay? Yeah. Let them see the Todd, what the Toddnators got or something yeah. like that. We'll see. I, I, I just love that Todd comes from Goose Bay. Yeah. Fun. I feel like there's a third word that we're missing. It's like blank Goose Bay or Goose Bay blank. Okay. Can't remember. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Lexus, diamonds are created under pressure. Damn right. <laughs> you know, she was just like, yeah. Yeah, but she also has to, like, pretend to be upset that Anthony put her up. How could you? I'm sorry, but, like, shouldn't this be a huge red flag to Spicy? <laughs> shouldn't this be a humongous red flag to her that Bailey is not up there and Lexus is? Do you think she's on to it? I mean, I'm sure she's paranoid, but how much? But, I mean... Anthony could have said, look, I'm saving Bailey for a back door. Maybe. I don't know. It could like be. Like, he could say, I, that want, could be how he I it. wanted I to know. keep her calm so that she wouldn't gun for the veto. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Right? It's possible. Right? So. <sighs> wow. I was not expecting this tonight. <laughs> no. 
No. So. I mean, yes, I was expecting Spicy to be a backdoor target. Yes, because we, we saw that in the digital day. We're not expecting Lexus to be up on the block. Yeah, that's wild. So. Wow. That's where we're at. Leave your thoughts yeah. in the comments. <laughs> Wow. I know. And uh, we will be back tomorrow to talk about the latest digital dailies and then the next episode on Tuesday night. Woo woo. Yes. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, much love. love.